Oh, well, hello to everyone. Uh, today we'll do an example of communications of two different brands of PLC. Uh, for today we have an S7-1200 CPU-1212 uh, acting, like uh, acting like a Modwood's client. And this one is a N221 Snyder acting uh, as a Modbus server. Uh, all the comps are do did it. All the comps are made by Ethernet using Ethernet. So, as you can see here, the all the the Ethernet cables are going to this switch over there, this columns. And now we are gonna prove the communications. Uh, here we have the example in Tia Portal B13 version. As you can see here I, I, I just used this MB client block. It's a predefined block from library, from the library of Tia Portal. Uh, this, this, this configuration is also you can see it on the um, on the manual of these blocks. Uh, well, I'm gonna explain it a little bit. Uh, the connect ID, as you can see here, is one. The the, the IP address of the four octets of the Modbus server from which we are reading the values or writing values are these ones. The last octet, as you can see here, is 12. Uh, it's got to be the same one as our PLC. Uh, as you can see here, I'm online and this one is 12 too. So um, I'm using this block, sorry, uh, I'm sorry, I'm using this block to read and write values from the Snyder PLC to the S7-1200. Uh, next we have the IP port, is the predefined one. 502. Uh, the MB mode. Uh, this this number is the is uh, to tell the block if we are reading, writing, and or diagnostics. Uh, right now, zero means we are reading. And this one is the MD data address from which uh, from which value which register of the Snyder PLC are we are now reading values. Now we are reading values from the MB MW zero register to go on on the Snyder PLC, and this one is the data length. There are now how many values from the Snyder we are reading? Uh, right now it's set to 20. Well, we are gonna prove. Right now I'm online here. Uh, we gotta use a, a table, as you can see here. Uh, right now, for example, I I could write these values online. These ones not, because uh, these ones are used for the BFDs on the process over there. So if I if I write some value here, I it will go back to zero again. So I'm gonna use this value. For example, I'm gonna write I don't know an a, a seven right here uh, 21 and these values I can use use the meter the next the next values readable for example these ones I can write it too for example 60 here 10 this one I can write the leader and these ones I believe the other ones, MB10 and MB11, uh, as you can see here, are the values from the sensors of the process. For example, MW right now is 160 and MW11 is 70, 70, 17, 70 around. Uh, let's let's see on the TIA portal. Um, I'm using a forcing table here. Well, as you can see here. First value, like I change, is 7. The second one, 21. 
the third one 60, the fourth one 10, and the values from these sensors are uh, updating uh, as, as fast as the Modbus communication is being made. So uh, right here we have 160, uh, 170, 17, 72. Over uh, here we have the value of level, and over here we have the value of temperature. 160, 159, and 70, 72. Very well. Uh, um, um, I could over again change those values for example I don't know 45 I'm sorry uh, right here we can go for 50 upside we can go for I don't know 50 and this one we are gonna left it so here those values are changed 15 21 45 and 15